Speaking of trophy games, here's what Nebraska and Wisconsin will now play for. It was unveiled yesterday. They will play for the Freedom Trophy. That game is, of course, uh, this weekend. And, Kevin, that leads us to a new game called What Do We Win? I will give you a game, a matchup, if you will, and then you're going to tell me what the winner of that game wins as far as trophies go. Awesome. Got it? You follow me on this? Yes. What Do We Win is the name of this. So we're going to start with two Mount West teams here. Nevada, UNLV, when they go at it, what do they win? The Golden Cannon. It's not a golden cannon, um, but it is a cannon. And actually, I don't know if you know this. I do know this. What? It's the most expensive trophy of the rivalry games. It is. Is it's that correct? It's enormous and super heavy. I saw it when I covered the UNLV game. And that's how I know it. Proud of you. They paint it respective colors. Uh, it's the Fremont cannon, by the way. Uh, when whoever wins it, Nevada, based on based on who wins. Exactly. Yes, uh, makes uh, sense. Let's now talk about Cincinnati, Louisville. Kevin, what do they win if they win that game? I Cincinnati, don't have this. Louisville. I don't have the slightest. Even not even a guess on this um, one. Keg of nails. I did not know this one either. Interesting though, a keg of nails. What is that? What's the basis uh, of such a thing? It looks to me like a keg, and I'm guessing there's nails in it. How heavy do you think that is? Makes Seems for like an interesting keg stand, I'd say. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh, number three, Boise State Fresno State, another Mountain West game here. They win, this is a simple thing. They win what in that game? What do they win? Well, I'm, you I'm, drink this for breakfast sometimes. Jordan Cornett drinks it all the time. That might give you a good hint. A jug of milk. <laughs> yeah, the milk can. That's what you win in that matchup. And there it is. Only animals drink milk after the age of like 12. <laughs> yeah, Jordan, Jordan always <laughs> sidecar of milk, always. Uh, number four, over in the Pac-12, Oregon against Oregon State. They play for an animal of some sort is the hint here for you. It's a very strange animal. Um, a platypus? <laughs> Come on, you cheated on that. There's no way you knew that. Yeah, the platypus trophy is what they play for. It looks like a giant banana. It's hideous. That's hideous. That's terrible. It looks really small. It does look tiny, but I just think that's how it's positioned. I mean, platypuses are big. Yeah, I've never I, seen I, one I, in I, real life. I, don't, I wouldn't even know what yeah, one is. Yeah, me either. Anyways, uh, <laughs> finally, uh, Iowa-Maryland, a new rivalry in the Big Ten, known for many of their trophy games. Want to take a stab at this one? What do they play for? I have no idea. You don't know because it's hopefully, kind of... hopefully something meaningless. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of made up. That's why you don't know because I tricked you there. It, this one's called the Ye Old Armadillo. Totally fake. I'm totally kidding. These two old friends, one an Iowa fan, the other fan of the Maryland Terrapins. They bought this thing off Amazon. It's a plastic wine holder or something. They brought it to the game and then this is the thing. It was stolen at the game and it has yet to be returned. So it's a totally made up trophy, but but it has value. Evidently, someone else wanted it. Exactly. That's so amazing. That'll be interesting. Armadillos at an Iowa-Maryland game. We'll thunk it. <laughs>